<laughs> All right. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. So uh, this week we played the Chicago Bears. We won 23 to 13. Okay. Uh, standout performers were Brian Burns, uh, Marcus Haynes, and uh, Holyfield. Stop. Crab legs. Uh, <laughs> so what do you guys think about the performance? And can we read too much into it? Um, As far as reading too much into it, absolutely not. I mean, we're, we're talking about meaningless preseason games and, and you know, even coaches will will probably admit to you there's not much to read to other than maybe depth, maybe the depth of what you see, maybe and, and of course the the main interest you know from from a coach's vantage point, from from a fan's vantage point, is how are the young guys performing, yeah. how are how are the how are the backup guys performing, how are the rookies you drafted performing, and uh, to me that's what kind of drew me to this game and you know one name that I I really wanted to mention before we get started I, Brian Burns is gonna get all of the Hall of Famer no, man no, future. no listen no y'all no 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 listen I I said I, I talked to Vince privately and I said Brian Burns was a standout to me but another guy that I think we need to mention today is Marquise Haynes yeah he's been on the squad for a couple of seasons he's been a backup hadn't got a lot of snaps with the team. But I, I thought he was outstanding uh, Thursday yeah. night, man. I just wanted to throw, throw, give him a shout-out before we get started. Man. So, well, a few things with me. Um, I understand that Cal Allen, uh, he was on the team last year whatnot. Mm-hmm. But with us drafting uh, Will Greer, I was expecting to see Will Greer take the first snaps on Friday night. But considering that Cal Allen took those snaps, he actually surprised me. He looked very wow. calm. He looked very collected. He looked like he, com- he, was ready he looked comfortable. To, yeah, man. he was yeah. very comfortable. And he looked like he's ready to take that next step in his progression. So that and, and granted, it's only one game. It's only mm-hmm. one preseason game. But if we really looked at that game, you could really say that Will Griff might be the, the the solid number two guy behind Cam Newton right now. Yeah. Um another name that jumped out at me was Cameron Artis Payne. He's he's a twenty nine year old running back. And <laughs> Hey, let me interrupt you real quick. Because I have to admit something, man. I, I hate to admit Go this. Go ahead and admit it, man. When I first saw Cameron Artis Payne, I was like, man, he still plays for us? Hey, I, no. I, I swear to God. I actually had to say it I, I, I was like, man, I didn't know he was still. I saw, man, he, he hangs around, man. I yeah, saw him Friday night yeah. and was like, whoa, he's still on the team? Right, right. But I'm glad to know I'm not the only yeah, one. Man. <laughs> but he actually looked pretty good. He looked decent, yeah. right. He, he looked did. pretty good, especially in the receiver game. I think – I think he only had maybe 10 or 15 yards rushing, but I think he had two catches on 30 yards, and they, yeah. they were actually kind of bailout plays. So mm, yeah. um, if we can get Cap a few more a few more touches during the season, I think that would be dope. But I'll highlight one more player, then I'll let Arian speak. I don't even know if he follows the Panthers at all, but nope. we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later. But um, one player that a lot of people aren't talking about because no one pays attention to this part of the game is Terry Godwin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't really know what our return situation looks like right now, but he made a case for that number one return. Let, let me say something about Terry Godwin in the return game. Like, man, needless to say, the Carolina special teams have been pretty special. And I don't mean that in a good way. I don't mean that in a good way in the last <laughs> decade. I, I saw more – Exciting plays in one preseason game I've probably seen <laughs> in ten years from the Panthers, man. Like, I, seriously, dude. Like, I, I, where did this come from? Now, yeah. if this is a sign of things to come, I'm all for. It. But again, it's preseason. And gotta quell our our expectations. Yeah, the wide, and, and and the fight for for those last few wide receiver spots, it's it's, it's pretty gonna be tight. Interesting. It's yeah. pretty tight right mm-hmm. now. And um, even though Godwin was drafted as a wide receiver, I think this would be how he makes the team. Yeah. Kind of, and kind of like Steve Smith. Because yes. we drafted Steve Smith as a retirement. Mm-hmm. So we could kind of see something similar coming from Godwin. Right. One player that I was uh, I was surprised with was uh, Rashawn Golden. Uh-huh. He, he was making plays out there, man. He he, he he feels the pressure on his butt right now. Um, Interesting you say that, man, because that the first drive uh, the Bears scored, like, he, like the secondary as a whole struggled. Like yeah. he and Boston in the – this entire secondary, and I, it, it's, it's funny. You never mentioned like a free safety or safety getting more comfortable as the game went along. But I thought Galden actually got comfortable and started yeah. making those plays in that third and fourth quarter, man. So it was interesting yeah. you said that. And he, um, he was actually shouted out on Twitter too by Charles Tillman. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw the play, but he had peanut a punch. perfect peanut punch uh, during the game on Friday. Nice. But um, real quick, um, because I don't want to disrespect that guest too much. No, 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 uh, Arian, no disrespect. Um, no disrespect. So as far as the coach, because we know, <clears throat> even though you live in Charlotte, right. we know you don't follow the Panthers. So right. what's what's going on 
with the coach and um, the guy who chose to go back to college because he didn't want to <laughs> play for the Panthers. Uh, right now, he, you know, he's out for a few games, talking about Andrew Luck as that calf injury. So I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got, we got a matchup against we'll against the Panthers in December. We, okay. uh, it's a good Christmas treat. What, the 22nd, I believe? Yeah, the 22nd. Yeah, so, so, you know, it'll be a good Newton Christmas never treat. never lost to Andrew. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I actually, you know, for me, I think the Colts are a good team to like because of our division alone. Okay. All right? So, I mean, we got the Titans, Texans, and – uh, Jaguars, right? So we always are, at the very least, coming out number two out of yeah, the division. No, 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 no. So, I mean, I think the Texans are looking good right now, but as far as the Colts, I like where we stand. We lost to Buffalo earlier it's this be a week. Tough division this year, man. No, it's not. No, it's you not because so? no, nah, I don't man, think I so. Don't, I, don't, I think, I think coming, man. no, no. I think uh, who, who, who with their quarterback? Oh, they do have. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 they yeah, do yeah, have yeah. Uh, Nick Foles, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so it may be kind of. Yeah, I even think about that. Yeah. Now so. because of that, I, I I went and looked at uh, some of the stats from uh, from when you guys played Buffalo. Okay. And I noticed that Chad Kelly took the majority of the snaps mm. um, last week. Mm. Mm. You guys have Jacoby Brissett on your team. Right. From your point of view as a fan, why is he not getting the majority of the snaps considering he was just starting two years ago? I, you know what? That's a good question because I actually I really, really like him. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. The season that two years ago when he started um, during Andrew Luck's uh, injury, I think he did very well he for did. the Colts. I think he, he did a really good job. Well. I mean, and granted, we didn't make the playoffs and the record wasn't outstanding. It could have been a lot worse. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think he managed the games very well. So that's a good question. I'm not sure why he's, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe uh, injury, maybe they want to keep him healthy or, you know, they kind of want to, I don't know. But well, I really I, like Jacoby. All I'm seeing right now is another former New England Patriots quarterback going somewhere else and not doing too good. <laughs> so maybe maybe there's a maybe system there's in, New York, in New England that yeah. they're able to yeah. plug it. I, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, man, Garopp Garoppolo's a new savior, man. He's yeah. Like, What's he's, he doing right now? Yeah, I mean, he's coming up the injury, but he'll be fine. He'll be fine. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. They, I mean, I, I don't know. I see all these quarterbacks that look good in New England, yeah, yeah. and then they go elsewhere, and it's like New England has a great system. Belichick's a god, system. man. He's oh, a god okay. coach. That's okay. all I got to say. System. I'm okay. confident that anyone in this shame. table can go there and, and be a, a, a good quarterback in New England. <laughs> okay, so I'll be the, the fattest run option. <laughs> 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 yeah.